For the past few weeks, we've been on a journey to transform our 1950s fixer-upper laundry room into a beautiful and functional space. We've made tons of progress so far, but there's still so much work to do. Stay tuned to see all the work that we get done in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. You guys, we are gonna be tackling this laundry room today and hopefully getting it done. So make sure you stick around to the end of today's video to see the whole entire transformation. But first, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Pear for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I absolutely love wearing glasses and now it is becoming even easier to switch up my look. So cute, <laughs> so, so cute. Plus, their glasses are more affordable than traditional ones. I personally love that ordering glasses with Pear is super convenient. You can virtually try on glasses online to pick out your base frame. From there, you can add on your prescription if you'd like, customize your lenses, and pick out your top frames that come in over 650 styles, which is my favorite part. So y'all, I'm wearing the Larkin as my base frame and I love this shape on me, but if you're not a fan of this shape, as you guys saw, they have so many different shapes on their website, cat eye, round, pretty much anything you're looking for. And these right here are my top frames that I picked out that I absolutely love. So you guys saw me put on this one earlier, like the purple moment with the glitter. I feel like it's so cute for spring. And then we have this hot pink pair. How cutie! Oh my gosh, I cannot, I wanna wear more pink this year, so. I cannot wait to like style these glasses with all my different outfits. And this is the last pair that I picked out. So with the top frames, they magnetically just snap on until you take them off. So I mentioned earlier that Pear is super duper affordable and their top frames only start at $25, which I feel like is so amazing. And I'm gonna help you guys save even more money. You can use my link down below in the description box to save 15% off your first pair. I hope you guys try them out because I literally am so obsessed with these. Like what? So cute. Thank you Pear so much for sponsoring today's video. And now y'all, let's go ahead and begin working on this laundry room. We have so much to do. <laughs> Okay y'all, so before we start working on the laundry room, I really want to just throw it all the way back to how this laundry room looked in part one of our series. So we had the washer, the water heater in here, the washer and dryer weren't hooked up. Marcus and I started on the B board last year, but we weren't successful. There was a door out here that led into the carport area. And we also had the refrigerator over here. So this space, the way it was, just was not functional for us at all, which is which was a big reason why we decided to completely renovate this area. And also our water heater ran out. So I was like, okay, we kind of have to start on this now because while we're getting the water heater fixed, we might as well, you know, do the plumbing and rip up the floors and just make it a beautiful space. So this is the plan that we came up with. We decided to put a door leading in from the inside of the house so we don't have to go outside to get to this room anymore, which is absolutely fantastic. The washer and dryer, we were gonna stack them and um, we added a French pane door and we also are gonna keep the fridge in this room but just make it look a lot more custom by adding countertops and cabinets around it. So in this clip that you guys see now, that's exactly what me and Marcus are working on. I really want this space to look like the cabinets are built in and everything's super custom. So Marcus in the last episode, he built and like framed out all of these things. But on this day, I didn't quite look like how it looked because it was like a little bit of a gap. And as I told you guys, I didn't want any big gaps. I really wanted to have like a nice tight fit. So um, in the next footage that you guys will see, he ends up redoing it and I love it so, 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 so much. i 
Okay, y'all, so this is the end result of like the built-in for the washer and dryer. And Marcus finished this last night. I feel like it looks so good. It looks way better than it did before. Like way, way, way better. Oh my gosh, like it's a, it's a much tighter fit and we can still like reach in here if we need to like drag the machines out or whatever. And then the last thing he did, as you guys saw, was put on like this finishing piece, which I love. Hi, Marshy, can you see her right there? <laughs> oh, something else I have to do today, like take off the protective film so it can just be like a, you know, cleaner look. But yeah, that looks good. And then he did the same exact thing over here on this side with like the finishing piece. And I feel like these little details is what makes it look super duper custom. I forgot to tell you guys in the last video, but we're also gonna be adding like some trim up here to make it look even better. I'm so, so excited about that. So there's so much to get done, y'all. I have to paint this, take that out the door. We have to put in the new light. We have to put like all the hardware on the cabinets and stuff. Still figure out what we're gonna do over here in this situation. At this moment, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the shelves, but you guys left some great suggestions like about a rod to put there. I thought that was a really great suggestion, but I don't know if we would use that a lot and then Marcus showed me something that could go right here it's like a collapsible rod situation that he thought was cool so I think he wants to put that here so that's the only reason we probably won't do it here and then um we got a lot of great suggestions so thank you guys so much like it really helps get those creative juices flowing when I feel like I'm in a rut with my design I also have to take all of the you guys can see like all of this off right here all that has to come off the mask and peel and then we have to organize and decorate this area as well so enough talking let's just get to work and how can i forget we have to add a countertop here that's like one of the biggest things we're missing <laughs>
y'all already know this wouldn't be a home rental vlog without us taking a trip to the hardware store so here we are at lowe's and we are here to basically switch out our countertop so last year i don't know if you guys remember but we bought a really big slat because we thought we'd have way more counter space but with our new design the counter space is pretty small so we actually ended up returning it and getting a new one which was really great and we were also able to save some money by doing so the sour taste will wash away because i promise you promise i'm better Now that we're back home, Mark is beginning to cut out that countertop down to the size that we need, and then we're gonna install it. Installing the countertop was pretty easy. You just need some cabinet screws or particle board screws, and then we're drilling up into it from the inside of the cabinet. But I just feel like Are you feeling the groove? But kind of new Tell me you're feeling it too And love me like yesterday Let us live. Now that the countertop is in and it looks 
so great. We are beginning to just work on those small details that are really tie the whole laundry room in together. So one of the first things we had to do was put on the hardware that I showed you guys in the last episode. These knots are from Amazon and I'll have them in pretty much everything linked down below for you guys. But we decided to go with the really pretty gold thin handles. And then for the knobs, we decided to do the round ones instead of the octagon shape. And I feel like just doing the round shape made everything look a whole lot cleaner. And we just put those down at the bottom. So y'all let me know down in the comments what you think. I think it turned out really great. It's honestly so crazy how adding trim pieces in quarter round can just make the room look a whole lot better. But the secret to doing all of that is caulking. This is our first time like really caulking a space from top to bottom and the difference that it makes is absolutely insane. Like seeing those lines and gaps go away and just having clear white crisp lines looks so, so good. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this in the living room. We plan to give that whole space a transformation later on this year. And there's a lot of areas in there that need to look caulked. So I'm really excited to do it and it was very fun. Couldn't get over, couldn't get over. Okay, y'all, so we're finally putting this up and I love it. I feel like it looks so great. So let's keep going. Okay y'all, uh, all the lights out are out right now. We're about to set up the new light that you guys saw previously. So we have like our little flashlight down here. We did all the things, make sure, made sure that like, you know, the power is out over here. So we're about to hook this up and see how it goes.
So now we are about to put up the light and we had a time doing this. So like I mentioned before, we cut off like all the power and everything. And then Marcus and I were trying to connect the black wire to the black wire, the white to the white, which is like the ground and the live wires and all of that. And I'm really proud of us. This is our second time installing a light fixture all by ourselves. And it worked, you guys. It looks so good. I'll have this light linked down below. It's from Amazon and I feel like it really helped tie the space together. All right, you guys, here's the light. I'll show you guys in the morning for a better view, but I think with the room, like, it looks really, really good. So, calling it a night for tonight. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, guys, it's the next day. We are able to finish the light last night, as you guys saw, and now we're putting up the shelves. Okay guys, so the laundry room is basically complete. It looks so freaking good. But before I show you guys the big reveal, I want to go ahead and decorate the space a little bit and organize with you guys so we can get all the laundry supplies in here, all the stuff for like the butler's pantry area, um, and just things like that. So let's come along, do a little decorating, a little organizing, and then I'll show you guys the final look. Okay, so now it's time for everyone's favorite part, which is the organizing and the decorating. I do want to shout out my subbies who sent me these beautiful white laundry containers and also another one of my subbies sent me the little labels that you guys will see in a second. Literally over a year ago and we're just now putting them to use, but they look so good in this space and I'm so thankful. So thank you to everybody who sends me stuff, like it literally does not go to waste. But I really wanted this laundry room to be super functional, but also be a little aesthetic. So all of these things that I'm bringing in right now will help us create that look. Don't want us to go. No, 
y'all and the last thing we're gonna do is organize the fridge we kind of just had stuff all over the place usually when we put things in there so i got a lot of new organizers for our sauces for a lot of our sodas and things like that and and it turns out looking really cute while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you a conversation Okay guys, I am officially done organizing and decorating, so now it's time for the final reveal.
Okay, y'all, that concludes today's video. The laundry room makeover is officially complete, and I am over the moon. I love it so, 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 so much. Like, y'all, to think that a year and a half ago or two years ago, however long ago it was, we started on this project. There was still gonna be a door here, but now we can enter in from, you know, the living room. And it just seems like the waiting season in between was meant to be because better ideas came along as time went along. So I'm so happy about the new design. I love this whole butler's pantry situation we have going on over here. And I can't wait to continue like using the storage space, like putting things here as time goes along, you know, things that we need. It's just so much more storage now. And a lot of the appliances that we have, many of these we got as, pre as presents for um, our wedding. Able to put these in our Instant Pot, Crock Pot, Kitchen Aid, and they have a home now because before they were living in the guest bedroom. So, because they couldn't fit in the kitchen, like, so this is just great. And then we have this whole drawer or cabinet over here. This drawer is empty. This drawer is empty. And then these are oh, boy, there's waters up here. These are practically empty as well. So, there's just so much like storage in here, and I love it. One thing that I still need to do is get a curtain to go up right here. That's something that was just an oversight for this video. So you guys will see that soon. And maybe like a little, I don't know if I want like a rug in here. The floor is just so pretty. I don't want to cover them up. But anyways, y'all, I hope you really enjoyed this laundry room makeover. I hope it was worth the wait. We certainly think so. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.